is Yaron Bauman. I appear before you this evening, ladies and gentlemen, as the world's first and only stand-up economist. Thank you. <laughs> Mostly I perform at colleges and corporate events. Uh, and this is actually my J-O-B. Uh, many people think I have a professorship somewhere and this is just what I do for fun, but no, this is what I do for a living. <laughs> that was not a punchline, but thank you. <laughs> you know, this is actually uh, the best job in the world. Because it is the last job in the world that will be taken over by computers. <laughs> At least that's what I thought until I saw this article in the New York Times. It's about a fellow who uh, works at Google and uh, does improv on the side with his AI robot. In any case, I asked some, some friends I know who work on neural networks and AI, and, and they actually told me that there's this whole set of apps that are joke-creating apps that people are working on, they're called uh, uh, Hardly Any Humans Autonomous Humor Apps. <laughs> you might think they're called Ha Ha Ha's. <laughs> but they're actually called the Ha Ha Haps. <laughs> or just Haps for short. Uh, my favorite one actually has a tagline. The tagline of this hap is, uh, if you're not laughing, maybe that's because you're not smart enough. <laughs> Kind of like those chess playing computers where if you don't understand the moves they're making, it's because you're not smart enough. Uh, and you know, what's really amazing about these hacks is that uh, they don't just, it's not just like Siri, tell me a joke. It's Siri, make up a joke about whatever, right? And what I want you to think about is how amazing and revolutionary this is going to be for labor productivity in the joke making economy. Now, I actually have a, uh, some data that I have. Maybe it came from, uh, from Angus Madison before he passed away. This is, this is a history, 2,000 years of history of jokes created per comedian hour. And let me show you what this looks like. 2,000 years of data. Now, it's basically flat, although, as you can see, there's been a little uptake here in, in, the, uh, in, in the, the Middle Ages, apparently, were unexpectedly hilarious. <laughs> this, this is called the medieval warm period, I think. Uh, but but the, the bottom line here is really that, like, labor productivity in the joke economy has been a joke. And there's been no improvement in labor productivity among comedians for 2,000 years. Right, so this is Baumol's cost disease. But if you look at projections for the next 40 years, because of these joke creating apps, this is amazing, right? Say goodbye to Baumol's cost disease and say hello to economic joke possibilities for our grandchildren. These are just projections, right? But, uh, but they're making great progress. If you go back and look at even just like, like 10 or 20 years ago, this paper here, from a couple of computer scientists, they have a computer program that, quote, succeeds in generating pieces of text that are recognizably jokes, but some of them are not very good jokes. <laughs> they had a, another paper that was published in the International Journal of Humor Research that said there was, they were comparable in quality to those in general circulation among school children. <laughs> now, the jokes in these humor apps are actually approaching high school level quality of jokes. You may wonder how I know this. I know this because high school teachers regularly email me with the jokes that their students came up with. Uh, the best one that I'd like to share with you now is from uh, one of the students of Gavin Simpson, who's uh, uh, at Dame Alice Owen's uh, school in, in the UK. And the joke was, what is the favorite clothing brand of Brexit supporters? Uh, Levi's. <laughs> That is a great high school level economics joke. You know, so I wanted to try out this, uh, th this humor app. So I told the humor app, I said, look, Siri, make up a joke about economic geography. And so the app thought for a minute, and then it said, well, you know, what are the two favorite cities of economic geographers? LA and LB. <laughs> Okay, but that was 
was, you know, a little while ago, and then like last week I tried the app again, and I said, hey Siri, make up a joke about microeconomics, and it said, what did the microeconomists think about that last joke? That it was very derivative. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's better. And, and then this morning I woke up and I said, hey Siri, make up a joke about artificial intelligence. And it thought for a minute, and then it said, knock, knock. And I said, who's there? And it said, AI. And I said, AI who? And it said, AI am coming for your job. <laughs> and I was like, that's not funny, I'm not laughing. And it said, maybe that's because you're not smart enough. <laughs> To hire me for a show or to see more videos, visit StandUpEconomist.com, where you can also find more information about my cartoon books, including the cartoon introduction to Calculus, which is coming out in the summer of 2019.